The 3R80 is a single-axis prosthetic knee joint that provides a robust, durable, high-performance rotary hydraulic solution for active users. It is waterproof for fresh and salt water and equipped with a manual lock for extra safety. The alignment and adjustments are easily completed in the following steps. Bench alignment, static alignment, and dynamic trial fitting. For the correct bench alignment values, please refer to the displayed table. Looking at the frontal view of the knee, the alignment reference line runs through middle of the prosthetic foot, middle to outer edge of the knee, and middle of the socket. The alignment should now be adjusted solely by changes to plantar flexion, so that the alignment reference line runs about 35 millimeters anterior to the knee axis. To engage the manual lock, the knee must be in full extension with weight through the toe. Once loaded, push the lock lever down. Verify that the knee is locked. To make adjustments to the stance phase, remove the black cap from the back of the knee. The stance phase damping setting is adjusted by the lower ring, while the stance phase damping threshold setting is adjusted by the upper ring. Both flexion and extension damping are independently adjustable. Before fitting the user, please check the factory settings. The corresponding values can be found in the instructions for use. The upper adjustment ring should be set at zero clearance. The flexion and extension damping should both be turned to a minimum damping. Before the user can perform the first walking exercises, it is important to disengage the manual lock. To do so, the knee has to be brought to full extension under load. To get a first impression of the knee joint's swing phase control, let the user walk in the parallel bars with the factory setting. The following video sequences will demonstrate how the knee joint reacts at the extreme setting of the swing phase damping. First, the knee joint is shown with the flexion damping set at the maximum. At this point, the flexion damping is shown at its minimum. At higher walking speeds, the user has to wait too long for the prosthesis to reach full extension at heel strike. In order to achieve an optimal setting, the flexion damping should be adjusted according to the user's needs. It is important to always take small steps when adjusting away from the factory setting of minimum extension damping. As shown here, an extension damping set too high means that the knee joint no longer comes into full extension, which could lead to a fall. Reducing the extension damping setting ensures that the leg will reach full extension at heel strike. The extension stop can be adjusted individually to the user's needs. Should a so-called hitch occur, the swing phase of the knee is not releasing properly. In this case, the setting of the body weight based stance phase damping needs to be modified by changing the upper adjustment ring. In this example, 
you can see the optimal setting of the stance phase damping and the stance phase damping threshold. Here the user cannot activate the body weight based stance phase damping. Therefore the stance phase damping threshold must be reduced. In this example, the stance phase damping is set too high. It needs to be reduced in small increments at the lower adjustment ring. To see if the swing phase is set optimally for the user, the user should walk with varying walking speeds. The user should practice small and quick steps to ensure proper settings. With this setting of the stance phase damping, the user has no support when sitting down. The stance phase damping should be increased gradually. Sitting down needs to be practiced. The user needs to learn to sit down with the help of the stance phase damping to relieve the contralateral leg. Here the stance phase damping is set too high. When walking down the ramp, the stance phase damping needs to be gradually decreased. If the resistance is too low, the user could become unstable. At this point, the damping is set too low. The prosthesis bends too quickly and prevents the user from taking balanced steps. The damping must be increased in small increments. When the stance phase damping and its threshold have been set correctly for sitting down, the settings for walking down a ramp must be checked and adjusted if necessary. Please adjust the stance phase damping so that the prosthesis does not bend too fast or too slow during stair descent. If necessary, adjustments should be made at the lower ring. With the proper stance phase damping setting, the user can safely sit down, confidently walk down a ramp, and descend stairs step over step. At this point, all adjustments have been made and the user should be walking comfortably. Lastly, please put the black protective cap back on the knee joint to prevent dust from entering the joint and the adjustment rings from slipping. There is an additional compression spring included with delivery that can be used if the user needs more support in order to bring the prosthetic knee joint to full extension.